rainfall conditions um, actually have led to um, the expansion of tree cover across the region. Um, and some of you in the audience might have heard the term, the greening of the Sahel. This is what we're talking about, is a growth in uh, tree and, and, and bush cover across the Sahel over the past 20 years. And one thing I want to mention is that most all of the greening in the Sahel has occurred without direct human intervention. Um, it has resulted from the natural regenerations of trees and shrubs on particularly sandy soils. Now, many of these plateau sites that have existed in their unproductive state for a long time, many decades, if not centuries, human interventions are necessary, absolutely necessary to vegetate the hard pan soils on plateaus such as those at the Niger sites. Even with higher, vegeta higher rainfall, vegetation would not grow spontaneously. They basically are, basically we're talking about a situation of a stable, kind of unproductive state, which requires kind of human intervention. Ces ouvrages-là, c'est des ouvrages à renouveler, je ne sais pas, sur pas mal de temps, il faudra renouveler, parce que c'est des de sols limoneux, dans la majorité des cas. Et aussi, je pense qu'il est nécessaire de trouver pas mal de gens qui vont s'occuper de la maintenance. Parce que s'il n'y a pas la maintenance, là, ça va prendre juste 3-4 ans, c'est fini. Hein. Et même les arbres risquent de ne même pas grandir. Parce que, vous savez, ici, il y a un manque de bois, il y a un manque de fourrage. Donc, il y aura pas mal de gens qui vont venir, ils vont couper par-ci, par-là. S'il n'y a pas la maintenance, avant même de passer à renouveler toutes les parties. As Omar describes, these sites need to be managed to maintain um, the new vegetation. Earthworks, such as those that we've you've seen in these slides and, and the slide that you're seeing right now, need to be maintained. Otherwise, newly established soil layers can be eroded. In fact, unmaintained earthworks can actually funnel surface water uh, flow and exacerbate problems of soil erosion. Due to the shallowness of the constituted uh, soils at these sites, vegetation will remain vulnerable to future droughts over the long term. <laughs>